I just looked over and noticed this amazing vintage fiber optic cactus lamp. I have never seen this one before. I wonder if it works. It's going to see if the cactus fiber optic light works. Plug it in, baby. Hello, everyone. It's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark, and OfferUp. Today, I'm at the Goodwill at Rainbow and Cheyenne, but somebody asked if they could come along with me and go thrifting. It is my son, Jake. You may know him. You all love him. Jake, I have an idea. Do you know what's special about Sunday afternoons at two? Yes, you have whatnot sales. I do, I have my whatnot sale. How about this? What if you look for a couple of things that you can be a guest seller on my whatnot sale? You can appear with your items and sell them all by yourself. Would you like to do that? Yes. Maybe not this coming weekend, but either the following weekend or the weekend after that. One of those, I think, is Easter. So is that a good plan? Would you like to do that? Mm-hmm. Great. Let's do it. So what are we going to do? Let's, Let's go, go thrifting. Here we are at Goodwill. It's a little bit breezy today, but it's been sunny all day and nice and warm. So Jake, what do we have to remember to look for as we walk in the door? The, the sign, the color that's 50% off. The color of the week, that's right. Do you want to guess what it is? Oh, you can probably see. Yeah, All right, let's go thrifting. It's not blue. It is, look, what color is it? It is green. All green tags are 50% off, so we have to be on the lookout for those. We'll grab a cart. I've got my reusable shopping bags and my thrifting Vegas blanket to keep all my finds safe in the cart. Today, we are going to talk about eBay listings. Many of you message me and say, Tiff, I have listings on eBay, but I'm not getting any sales. I have three suggestions for you. First, make sure you have amazing pictures. It's the first thing people see and it often seals the sale. Second, a great title. Your title should be what you would type in if you were looking for the item that you're selling. And third, consistency. List every single day at least a couple of items. If you want to do a big batch at one time, save them in your drafts and release a couple a day for the next week or so. Here we are in the hard goods section. Let's get my Thrifting Vegas blanket situated and in the cart. This is exciting. I think they've done a really big restock because I'm seeing items that I haven't seen before. Some frames. There's a little terracotta pumpkin back here. Candle holders and candlesticks. Somebody had a pumpkin collection, I think. What's this? I think that is Target, a dollar spot. Some canisters and jars, collector plates. Little trinket dishes, more candle holders. What's this? This is a large duck. I think he is a console bowl. He looks to have some age on him. He's six dollars. Unfortunately, he is quite split at the front here. I'm going to pop him down and just see if that could be glued back together. I'm afraid that the pressure required uh, would mean that the glue wouldn't hold. Yeah, that is not budging at all. 
So sadly, because of the extent of that damage, I think I am going to leave him on the shelf. I'm actually going to put him across the way in the wood section where he belongs. And maybe somebody skilled can repair him. Lots of dolls on the bottom shelf here. I like this glass bowl. Frosted glass is really trendy at the moment. But what I'm really after is underneath here. Look at these. These appear to be replicas of engraved brass rubbing plates. And they were laid as memorials in medieval England. They look to be dated around the 15th century, 1400s. And what you would do is lay a piece of paper over these and take a... Uh, crayon or wax and rub and the imprint of the engraved brass would come up on the paper. This one is fantastic. It's really big. They are $7.99. I don't know if you can actually see that. It's engraved into possibly metal, possibly resin. Jake has popped a baby Yoda in the cart. <laughs> I think this is for him. This is going to be for him, not for sale. <laughs> but let's get the other two of these. I'm so excited. These are really, really good. So good that I think they might even go up in my house rather than for sale. I value these probably about $75 to $100 a piece. So that is really, really exciting. What a great start in the first row. Also notice this tissue box cover, which quite chipped, unfortunately. Some little ceramic pieces here. I do like this little duck. He's $2.99, we'll grab him. And here's a pheasant. He is either a salt or a pepper. So I think we're going to pop him in the cart and see if we can find his mate. And if we don't, he would be a wonderful display for hat pins or stick pins. I'm just seeing if this guy has a mark on the bottom. He doesn't, but he's really, really nice quality. The colors are ever so accurate. So we will take these two and pop them into our cart. Oh, I see one more thing over here. It's a little vase. Let's see, this fellow with the hat is a bit chipped, but I've got my hands free now. So let's, oh, Jake's going to help me out there. Vase with little roses. It's almost a hobnail pattern, only 99 cents. Again, a no-brainer. If it doesn't get sold in my haul directly at the end of the video, um, we will pop it on whatnot. We've had a really good start, so let's keep going on the shelf. Little angel ornament there. The sea star candle holder is still there. Ceramic armchair trinket box. Oh, look at this lovely lidded jar. Quite a brutalist lid. Ground stopper. 99 cents. Here is a lovely angel with frosted wings. These sell really, really well for me at Christmas time. So I am going to grab her. All sorts of candle holders up top. Some more doll boxes. I think Jake has spotted something. He's going for the little vintage ceramic tortoise toothbrush holder. He is so cute, Jake. He is $4. Yeah, let's get him. Look at these. These are elephant bookends. They are iridescent, $4. Add sand for additional weight. You can weight them down. I love their little plaid bows. Jake has found another elephant. This is a stuffy. I love the material. Very vintage. Good find, Jake. 99 cents. Let's grab these. They're so fun. Little trunks up. They're upside down. I think that's just some sticky on there. 
That one is missing a stopper, but that can be replaced. Oh, Jake, that's lovely. Let me see. Gorgeous. It's $10. I think that is an Andrea by Sadik piece. Absolutely love it. Good find. Pop that in the cart. If you could pop the little elephants in there too for me, please. Let's see. What else can we find? So many things to look at. Oh, look at this. It's a beaver. Glen Zeller. It's mounted on a piece of green marble. Hoselton sculpture made in Canada. It is $8, but it's really unique. Ever such nice quality and great condition. So we will grab that. Here's a little stack of plaques and a box. I love the colors and pattern on the outside of this plaque. Let's see, it's 99 cents. Lord, help me to remember that nothing is going to happen to me today that you and I together can't handle. That's super, let's grab that. Put it right there on the side and we'll get the mounted beaver. There's a spot right at the edge. I think I'm going to have to fold my blanket over soon. Oh, look at this. This matches the vase that Jake found. It's a ginger jar. Andrea by Sadik. This too is $10. I'm just going to peel the tape off to make sure the insert lid is inside and that it is not chipped. Let's see if I can grab that. It's really stuck down. I am going to pay up for it $9.99, but I do think there is a room for at least uh, 20, 30, maybe even $40 profit. The lid is there. Look at that. Make sure there's no chips. It looks to be in lovely condition. The pattern is gorgeous. Let's stick that back down carefully and we will find a spot for it in our cart. So that's really exciting. I love when we find matching sets here. We'll put it right next to the vase. And as I always say, if you find one or more pieces, do have a look around uh, and see if by any chance there might be more. And look, right up top there, <laughs> there is another one. Oh goodness, that is amazing. Another ginger jar. I was just making some room in the cart for the elephant bookends and notice this right at the back. This looks like a Peruvian, Colombian style sculpture or a vase. It's $8, really super heavy. This style is very, very popular. So I am going to grab this. It'll probably go in my vintage booth. Let's see. I really need to fold over my blanket. Give myself another layer to put treasures on top. I mustn't forget to get the elephants. Let's see, way up top here is a pedestal. Not as old as I thought. Another plaque. Oh, this is an old Navy piggy bank. It's a monkey with a banana. These are quite collectible. They put out uh, limited edition ones every year. So we will grab that. They go super well on eBay for me. Little NFL bench warmer. A Packers ornament. It's about a $5 piece and they are asking for. So we'll leave that for somebody else. Coasters and candles. Or plaques. It's a little decorative vase here. Lots of tea light holders. Oh, look at this. This is a chessboard and it's got dragons all around the edge. It's, I think that is faux marble, possibly resin, but that is really. An interesting piece. 
I am going to give Jake a mission. I am going to ask him if he can have a look for the chess pieces that would go with this. They're probably going to be dragons or little medieval figures. This is $12.99, but I think it's worth it. Here is a lovely family of ducks on a branch. Unfortunately, the very end one is missing. That is such a shame because it's a lovely, lovely piece. I do want to know who makes that and its value in perfect condition. So I'm going to pop it under the cart on the chessboard and uh, go to eBay to look it up in just a minute. Let's finish the shelf here. I'm quite overwhelmed. So much to see. Hudson Bay Company. I think somebody has applied that uh, paper label onto the bottle. For a second, I thought that might be a glassy baby. No such luck. That is a mercury gla glass, modern little candle holder. I think we've seen this piece before, a little Italian dish. All sorts of glass that resembles creamware, but it is a bit too crude, not good quality enough to be creamware. Oh goodness, look at this. Gorgeous Sonoma Lifestyle Shell. This is $15.00. But again, when I know I can make a profit on something, I don't mind paying up for it, especially when it helps a great cause like Goodwill. Oh, Jake has found a box. That's really nice, Jay. You gonna, you gonna do that? It's down on the bottom shelf here, I've spotted some baggies. Inside are some vintage glass salt dips, individual little salt cellars. They look to be quite old, $5 for the whole bag. There's another one right here. Let's see if I can carefully get to it. Oh, and look at this stack of little vintage saucers. These could be sauce trays, trinket dishes. They definitely have age to them. I'll grab those as well. I just want to move these out of the way so I don't knock anything. This looks like another bag of salts. And the amethyst one is a Moser. Can you see that Moser glass? I love it when vintage pieces have their original labels and stickers on. Those are just everything. Let's not forget our little stack. Jake's helping me with that. All sorts of plates. Now I have to decide whether I want to take the time to unstack all the plates. <laughs> Because there's so much to see, so many new treasures. They must have had a huge uh, incoming donation. Goodness me, the shelves are really, really full. Here is the little seasonal section. Lots of fall bits. Signs. Umbrella. One or two Christmas pieces. Here we are in the vases, planters and florals. Lots and lots of clear florist pieces as usual. Here's a little electronic po pocket poker game. I think that is. Going to hold on to that and look it up on eBay. Those used to be ever so popular. Uh, you could carry them with you for a little something to do. Of course, everybody has their phones now, so they're not as desirable. This is a sweet little vase, three dollars. As I always say, sadly, clear does not move very quickly from my stores, and I do have quite a lot in stock, so I'm going to leave the little vase up there and this piece although this one does look like it's ever so nice quality 
The bottom is highly polished there. It is missing a stopper or a lid though, unfortunately, and it is $5. So I am going to leave that on the shelf for somebody else. We'll keep going. All sorts of lovely pieces suitable for arrangements. As I always say again, do come down to Goodwill if you want to go buy somebody flowers and present them in a vase. Because as you can see, there are so many to choose from for just a few dollars. And if you buy a vase from your florist, uh, it is going to run you quite a bit of money. Some interesting pieces here. It's a sun. As I pick it up though, it's extremely lightweight. Not very good quality. We'll leave that where it is. That white and green one still there. Lots of colored pieces. That one is just made to look old. This one's still here. Some decanters in the mix. Again, decanters don't sell too well for me. I've had several in my booth for a couple of months and no interest. So I'm not going to pick up any more of those. Moving into the florals and planters here. It's a fern. These are quite fun. These remind me of Alice in Wonderland, the Queen of Hearts uh, garden. Let's see what else we can find. Shelves, more planters. We are working our way into the metal section, which is right next door here. Let's check these out. Some of these can be sterling. These appear to be plated. The plate is wearing off. They're at $4.99 on those. They are vintage and uh, quite nice for a vintage display. Bowls and ice buckets, wine coolers. These used to sell quite well for me. I do love the floral design. But uh, not just lately, so I'm going to leave it on the shelf. The gold and black metal over here. It's a little uh, votive holder. More candle holders. Racks and displays. Some silver plated trays. Be careful with these because they just, they're long haul items. They don't move very quickly for me and they do take up quite a bit of storage space. Just going to double check this. I'm almost positive that it is plated and marked at $13. Over here is a box I recognize Pimpernel makes English cork backed coasters and placemats. Let's see if we can get the lid off of this one. They are round, it says. I don't often find round ones. They're usually square. I'm going to have to put you down a second because I need both of my hands. Let's see if I can set set it up so you can see as well. Oh, that's good. Here we go. There we are. They're English cottages. They're all different. Look how lovely those are. They're in great condition. We'll absolutely take those. Let's keep going on the shelf. Oh, look at these. These are Japanese salt and peppers. They're really nice, very vintage, $4, no damage. Look 
at this gnome as well. He's fantastic. Gnomes are really, really popular at the moment. He's only a dollar. We'll take him and our salt and peppers and see if we can find anything else. It's a big bread basket up there, lots of tins, paper towel holders, risers and racks, metal plaques. Oh, look, there's another gnome. We'll take him as well. Now we have a pair. That's really fun. When I'm setting up my booth, I like to put multiples in because it seems to give folks the incentive to buy rather than just to look. Here we are in the mugs and glasses aisle. Jake has been trying on some shoes. I see a unicorn mug down there. This one is pottery, hand painted. I have a couple of these in inventory. So I think I am going to leave this one. It is smaller than the others I have and it wouldn't match. This is quite fun. Hmm, I'm a little bit torn on the pottery mug. Maybe I will take the other two to my booth and see if they'll sell there. This is a dance, unfortunately, really big chip on the top. All sorts, shapes, sizes, and colors. I thought this one might be anthropology, but I don't think it is. Doesn't feel or look quite right. So many to choose from. Some steins. Matching sets over there. Not seeing anything that jumps out at me. Just noticed over here, there's some really pretty glass dishes. I think they're little berry bowls. The plates and bowls are opposite to the glasses in this aisle. Just scanning the shelves to see if there is anything interesting. Hard work and pizza. That's interesting. What a fun little desk sign. It's $2.99. <laughs> I really like that. I love the gold ends. I love the polka dots. So let's put that into the cart. Little souvenir piece. More of those glass bowls there. Mugs and lids. Here we are in the kitcheny bits, everybody's favorite. Again, lots of clear glass. Berry bowls. Oh, here is a creamer and sugar to match the salt and pepper we picked up. Sadly, this has a massive crack in it. The sugar appears to be in good shape though. Two dollars. Oh, I feel so sad leaving it. You have to be really careful uh, if you're trying to ship something that is cracked so, because so often it will split open in transit. So I think I'm going to pop these in the cart, research their value, and then I will probably end up leaving the creamer on the shelf because of that crack. As sad as I am to split up a pair, it's just not going to do me any good. 
a crack that big that goes all the way down. It's inevitably going to end up breaking. Oh, look at this. This is a Claire Burke frosted candle tray. It's $3, really weighty, super quality. This is called Set the Mood feeling that this is a good piece and now that I think about it I think that frosted bowl that I left on the other shelf might match it so when I finish in this row we might pop back over there and have a look at the frosted bowl it's a anchor hocking pie dish <laughs> down there I have a couple of those the cobalt anchor hocking pie dishes in my booth I think this is a cold coffee press I hesitate with appliances like this just don't know whether or not they work and it does take time to test them and clean them and all that so I tend to leave those they are not my love not my niche so somebody else might have a big money maker with that piece. We're making our way down the aisle, always checking the top shelf, the back, and the lower shelves. We don't want to miss anything. Look at this lovely Asian bowl, blue and white, signed on the bottom. I absolutely love the design, the polka dots, the flowers. This style sells very, very well for me, especially the blue and white, super trendy, $4. Let's absolutely take that with us. See if we can find any more. All sorts of clear glass today, isn't there? Lots and lots and lots. It's quite a nice pancake batter jug. I have a glass one with a lid. I think it's Pampered Chef, ever so useful. That way you can just put the glass uh, jug in the fridge with the unused batter and save it for the next day. This is gorgeous. It's a bohemian piece, I believe. Is it Queen's Lace Pedestal Bowl? This, <laughs> I'm torn on this. This might be a good money maker. However, it is super duper heavy and large. I wouldn't want to ship it. And I could put it in my booth, but it would take up ever such a lot of room. And I have a feeling that it would be a long haul item. So for those reasons, we are going to leave it on the shelf and hopefully someone who wants it for their home will come by and be absolutely thrilled to find it. We have more clear glass platters bakeware and lids some covered bowls down there coffee pots and pitchers here's a pair of little individual salt and peppers those are sweet but three dollars that's a bit too much for me for resale we'll leave those This is the travel tumbler shelf. Some other bits there too, little jars and tins. More cookware. This is a Temptations casserole. Sadly, for some reason, these don't sell ever so well. They want $8 for it. It is Eastery, but I think for me at least, it's a bit too close to Easter for something that big. So I'm going to leave it on the shelf for somebody else. Salt and peppers do really well for me, both on eBay and on whatnot. These are lovely little spring tulips. So for $4, we will absolutely take these. Over in the lamp section is an amazing elephant picture that I already know I have to have. Next to it is a little blue glass basket that's $5. It's only about a $12 piece, so we will leave that. 
This elephant is fantastic. It looks like he is $10, but he's really unique. So I am willing to pay up just a bit for him. I love his blue and gray glaze. I'm so sad that this basket isn't very good quality. I just looked over and noticed this amazing vintage fiber optic cactus lamp. I have never seen this one before. I wonder if it works. It's going to see if the cactus fiber optic light works. Plug it in, baby. Oh my goodness, look at that. I wish it wasn't so bright in here so you could see. But what we'll do is when we take it home and I show you it in the hall, we'll turn out the lights to show you it in all its glory. And it's only $6. We are taking our second look around the store as we do. And I can't believe I missed this fellow the first time. He's way up on the top shelf, a bronze golfer, and he is actually an Austin sculpture. I do really well with this brand, very vintage, very cool. So I need to find a way to fit this fellow into my very full cart. I also decided to get this vintage urn from the very top shelf and as I finished I realized that my camera wasn't actually recording but nevertheless I have it it's safely in the cart and we are going to take a peek at the large artwork. Part of me hopes I don't find anything amazing <laughs> because as you can tell, my cart is absolutely stacked with amazing pieces already. But we have to have a look, don't we? <laughs> I do have one more aisle to double check, the wood aisle. Uh, it was a bit crowded a second ago, but we are going to head over there right now. I absolutely love ethnic sculptures. Look at this amazing wood carving. She's fabulous from her necklaces to the bowls on her head. Let's put her safely on top in the cart. I came back to check out this bowl to see if it is actually Claire Burke. It might not be, but it's still a really nice piece. I was excited to see this tin. It is a very Hollywood Regency, only $3. And these sell ever so well for me. We'll take that. This horse is fantastic, but he is resin. And sadly, his little ears are broken. I'm not really sure if I missed this baggie the first time, but in amongst this plastic fruit is a bunch of grapes. And I'm almost certain that they are actually vintage Lucite. They sell really, really well for me. $6, a great find. We are in the furniture section and up on the shelf here is a small black footstool. I thought it was vintage, but it is made to look that way. A very modern piece. We will leave that. Let's see what else they have. There's a white pedestal stand there. Very, very heavy. Let's see. Outdoor tables and chairs. This is a nice patio set, great for a sunroom with two very jungly pieces. My timing was perfect today. They just wheeled out some amazing pieces of furniture. Look at the claw feet on this incredible leather top table. It's absolutely fantastic. Needs a bit of TLC, some oil and care, but it is $100 and absolutely amazing. Over here is another table. It's Scandinavian. It's double leaf. It has two legs that put the flaps down if you want to store it. 
another hundred dollars but absolutely amazing i want to look at this little piece honestly i don't think i have room in my car for all three so we are just going to pick up the scandinavian table and the vintage around one I really, really hope that all of this is going to fit in my car. If you would like to purchase an item you see in my haul, please email me at thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name, your address, the item and the price I mention. If it's available, I will send you an emailed invoice. Today, as you can see, we have a new venue for my hall. <laughs> my bathroom counter was just not big enough for all the amazing pieces I found today. So we had to move it down to the dining room table. Nevertheless, Ziggy is here inspecting all the treasures. I see. Today was absolutely amazing. I couldn't believe all the treasures that were appearing on the shelves. Just incredible. Some amazing finds, many of which I had never come across before. I think my very favorite pieces are the brass memorial rubbing plaques. This one is Sir S. Felbrig and wife, AD 1416, Felbrig, Norfolk, England. This one, Sir, Sir Dalling Ridge and Wife, circa 1380, Fletching, Sussex, England. They are just incredible pieces made in England. Vintage hanger on the back. I've done a little bit of research and uh, these are worth about 75 to 100 for the small ones. The large one is over here. A little bit harder to see, but this one is Thomas and Emmy Pounder and Family, AD 1525, St. Mary Key, Ipswich, Suffolk, England. It shows the couple and their children. Absolutely amazing. I'm so thrilled to have found these. This one, I believe, valued upwards of $150. I will actually show you where I hang them in my home. I have a little office off the master bedroom and I think these are going to be perfect. Some of these pieces, uh, you didn't see me thrift. I had a little camera snafu right at the end there where I thought I was recording and uh, I actually wasn't. This is a pair of lovely nautical anchor bookends. I paid $6 a piece for these and I am going to ask 45 the bases are wood. Actually, it's all wood and rope. Very vintage, very, very fun if you have nautical decor. This is a stunning piece by a very renowned artist, J.P. Alcantara of the Philippines. It's an absolutely stunning lady with a copper necklace. She does have a few scuffs 
from Age. She's really, really gorgeous. Let me stand her up for you. As you can see, she is quite tall. Just beautiful. Another last minute find. I did pay up for her. She was $13, but uh, this artist's work is valued up into the hundreds of dollars. I haven't even been able to find one exactly like this, but uh, I shall keep my research going. Next we have this lovely little desk plaque, hard work and pizza. It's got little polka dots on, gold ends. I paid $3 for it and I shall ask $18. This is a gorgeous vintage Asian bowl. It does have a couple of chips, but this is one of those pieces that is so stunning that uh, a couple of little chips doesn't take away, but actually adds to the character and history of the piece. Beautiful, I think these are lotus blossoms in the middle with very, very detailed paintwork. I paid $4 for it and I am going to ask $20. Next, we have our gorgeous little iridescent lusterwear elephant bookends with the plaid bows. Anthropomorphic eyes, trunk up for good luck. They're absolutely lovely. You can put sand in the bottom uh, to make them heavier. Stand your books up. I did actually find the other stopper. It was inside of the bookend, luckily. So both have their stoppers. They were $4 each. And I am going to ask $28. This is a lovely little emoji happy uh, vase or planter. These do really, really well for me. Very popular. I paid $3 for this and I expect to get $20. Vintage tins are extremely popular. This has a Hollywood Regency theme. B&B &B liqueur. Benedictine and brandy, it says. It is on a hinge, very nice tin, does have a few scratches, I paid $3 for it and I am going to ask 25 This is a super colourful piece, it's an instrument. Highly decorated, beautiful colours if you have a tropical theme. I paid $5 for it and I am going to ask $28. Jake found the first piece in this set. These are Andrea by Sadik vases, beautiful Asian flower theme. There's the original sticker. I paid $10 each for the vase and for the two matching ginger jars, which do have their inner lid, which I will show you, and uh, tops intact. They're in really nice condition, no damage. As I say, I paid $10 a piece for these and I expect to get 30 
to 35 a piece. Under here is the amazing chessboard that I found. I believe it is resin made to look like marble. It has a gorgeous dragon painted on the plain squares. I paid up for this as well, $12.99, and sadly we couldn't find the chess pieces, but uh, we'll continue to look. Uh, I have been unable to find a board exactly like it, but uh, chess boards are a great bolo, a great be on the lookout for. Some of them can run into the hundreds of dollars. Back here we have a lovely little Lord help me plaque. I paid 99 cents, I believe, for this. I absolutely love, I love the colors and the florals around the edge. Lovely inspirational sign. I'm going to ask $15. Another last minute find an Austin sculpture of a golfer. He is bronze and if you needed a trophy he's absolutely perfect ready to go just needs a replacement plaque on the side here and I expect to get 50 to 75 dollars for him I believe I paid 12.99 Here is the gorgeous garden urn, it has a weathered finish uh, with some green paint on it. I just love this piece. Really good size, perfect condition. I paid $25 for it, but that's okay because I am going to price it at $65 to $75 in my booth. Let's work our way across. I believe this is a Peruvian or Colombian style piece. It's possibly a vase and or incense holder. Really crude, brutalist design. Absolutely amazing. I paid $8 for it, and again, I'm struggling with the value. Uh, I don't believe this to be an original piece. However, it is a really nice uh, quality piece. Uh, hard to find style. So, uh, I again, I'm going to continue research, but I expect to get between $50 and $100 for this. Let's delve into Jake's finds here. The first thing is this gorgeous, almost like tramp art, carved wooden box. You really like this. It's $6. And uh, he thought he could get 25 to 30 on this. Now, I was really excited to show you the fiber optic cactus lamp and I plugged it in when I got home and we were all really enjoying it. And then um, I believe the bulb burned out. So what I'm going to do is order another bulb on Amazon, change it out and hopefully I shall have it working for you for the next video where I can turn out the lights and show you this gorgeous fiber optic uh, cactus lamp. We paid six dollars for it and I can't find this exact one online anywhere. Um, one a little bit similar sold for upwards of a hundred and fifty dollars. The candle tray you see here is Claire Burke, very very popular designer. I thought this bowl might match as well. I don't think it is her work. It's just a little bit different style. Uh, nevertheless, I'm really happy that I got it. It looks lovely with the plastic fruit in. The plastic fruit I found 
in the baggie with what I think are these Lucite grapes, uh, vintage grapes. I paid $6 for all the fruit in the baggie. The Lucite grapes, I expect to go upwards of $25. And uh, the fruit, I shall probably um, keep for decoration and uh, a little a pop of colour in my booth. If you are interested in the fruit, I do want to point out that I think these grapes sat on the citrus fruits in the sun because not only do the citrus have little red dots, but some of the grapes are missing. Uh, they probably got stuck and it had to be peeled off. But if you arrange them just right, they're very, very realistic and look absolutely lovely. The plates, let's see, what did I pay? Claire Burke. I paid $3 on the plate, about the same, maybe a little more on the bowl. But I expect to get 25 on the Claire Burke plate and probably 25 to 30 on the Frosted Bowl. Be on the lookout for these. These are Old Navy collectible banks. $3. There is a big uh, following collectors of these and uh, they go for... 15 to 25, depending on the model, on eBay. Two more of Jake's finds here. We have this lovely fabric elephant. Absolutely love the vintage fabric on this. He paid 99 cents for it, and he is excited um, to have this in an upcoming whatnot sale. I have my whatnots uh, Sundays at two. I'm not having one um, next week because it is Easter, but uh, this will probably appear the week after. Jake also found this lovely little girl on a cross, 99 cents, little angel girl. She is... Um, She's a composite, she's not metal, just a lovely vintage piece. And uh, we will also put that in the whatnot sale. One more large thing, and they're mostly smalls. This is a gorgeous big clamshell. These are ever so popular at the moment. This one is Sonoma Lifestyle. I paid up for it. $15, but I think I can easily get $45 to $50 in my vintage booth. We have two little birds here. The first is a pheasant. It's a single shaker. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find his friend, but these can be used in different ways to display hat pins or stick pins. Or one of my subscribers suggested to put a little bit of apple cider vinegar inside if you have a problem with fruit flies. The fruit flies smell the vinegar and they go in there and uh, no more fruit fly issues. This is a lovely male mallard duck, beautifully painted. He doesn't have a sticker or label. He was $3.00. And uh, I expect to get 15 to 18 on him. This is a little vintage turtle toothbrush holder. I found one of these previously and I gifted it to my friend Danny, the niche lady, because she collects uh, unique tortoises and turtles. I paid $4 for him. I expect to get $25. Mm -hmm. 
these gnomes are absolutely lovely i was thrilled to find two of them they're just decorative but gnomes are very very popular i paid a dollar each for them and i expect to get twelve dollars a piece another favorite find here look at this elephant picture i especially like his almost crystalline glaze it's almost a cross between a drip and a crystalline. He was $10 and I expect to get 45 to 50 for him. These are little vintage Japanese salt shakers. They have little houses on them. Beautiful finished, quite crazed, very vintage, just lovely. They have their stoppers. There is a little sugar to match. Sadly, the cream is extremely cracked and damaged, so I didn't pick that one up. I paid $2 for this one, 4 on the salt and peppers, and uh, I expect to get 20 to 25 on the set of those. Another unique piece, this is a metal beaver mounted on a piece of green marble. It has a plaque, Glenn Zeller, Royal Director. Let me show you the sticker brand. Hoselton Sculpture, made in Canada. $8 on that. But it's a lovely, lovely piece. I expect to get 30 to $50. Beautiful little vase here, very vintage. Uh, transferware roses on not really hobnail, but a hobnail uh, style finish. It was 99 cents. I expect to get 12 to $18 on that. Another set of salt and peppers. These are lovely tulips. They have their stoppers. No damage. They're just gorgeous for spring and Easter. Four dollars on those. And I am going to ask twenty-five dollars. Pimpernel coasters always remind me of England. The scenes are always beautifully painted. Look at these lovely, lovely English cottages. Perfect condition, almost brand new. I paid $4 on the coasters and I am going to ask $25. I found a couple of baggies full of antique and vintage salt dips, little individual salts that uh, over the years people would have on their tables next to them with little salt, uh, little salt inside. It's a lovely, lovely collection. This one is gorgeous. It's a Moser, very popular brand. I love the sticker on that. Beautiful amethysty purple color. These are all a little bit different. I'm assuming somebody collected these. This one is also marked Hawks. Sadly, this one does have a little bit of damage, a few chips around the edge, but still, it's a lovely collection. This one. This one is listed as Ellie Smith and as Fenton online. I'm really not sure which it is, but it's a beautiful hobnail design. Lovely aqua blue color. I paid $12 for all of these and I expect to get between $5 and $12 a piece. We have a couple of little jars here. The first one is Foltz Graph. 
This, I believe, is a potpourri jar. You put your potpourri inside and it releases through the holes. And this one is a lovely Chinese ginger jar. It has its lid. I believe this design is called For Me Rose because it has people on it. Beautiful colors. It's in nice condition. It has some gold leaf. I believe I paid $3 on this one, $6 on this one, and I am going to ask 20 on the false graph and 35 on the ginger jar. I'm really not sure the purpose of this little bottle. It has a hook inside. I don't know if it's used to hang uh, herbs to dry them out or maybe to flavor oil or vinegar or maybe it's a specimen jar. I'm really not sure. It is a neat old piece. I paid a dollar for it. I expect to get 15 to 20 dollars. These angels with the frosted wings do very, very well for me. Better at Christmas time. She is lovely. I paid $4 for her and I'd expect to get 20 to 25. Oh my goodness, that was such an amazing haul. Oh, I think I missed these little saucers again in a baggie. Antique little tiny saucers, ashtrays, trinket dishes, whatever um, you would like to use them for. I'll just quickly go through these. This one's Royal Ironstone, Ironstone by Meekin of England. This one looks German, let's see. Oh, this one's French, it's Limoges. Beautiful piece. This one is also French. Hand painted and numbered. This one is German. Wittesbach, Germany. Lovely collection. I think, did I pay $3 for the stack of those? I think I did. I need to do a little bit more research to find out uh, the age of these little saucers. Again, instant collection. Really, really lovely. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Staying with me through the video uh, in Goodwill and the haul. If you're still watching, please consider subscribing. If you're not already subscribed, it really helps my channel. If you're interested in purchasing anything you see, please send me your name, your address, the item or items you're interested in and your offer. And if yours is the highest offer I receive, I will send you an email with an invoice. Please stay tuned. I have some fun footage of Bear and Rio, our German shepherds, at the mountain bike park. And uh, as usual, of my amazing hummingbirds. I have four feeders in my garden and uh, they are constantly feeding. They're an absolute joy. Uh, one of my lovely subscribers did ask me to remind everybody, if you have hummingbird feeders, please take care to wash them out every two to three days, more often if it's really hot, uh, and use a ratio of just plain granulated sugar, a ratio of one to four, meaning if you use one cup of sugar, you'll need four cups of water. Make sure it's thoroughly dissolved and uh, that's all your hummingbirds need to supplement their diet. Again, thank you so much for watching and subscribing. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you next time. Bye.
to daddy. Come on, go to daddy. Go to daddy, go. Go see daddy, go. Good boy. tired. <laughs> Bear! <laughs> Hello! Lots of geese, Ray. You see the geese? See the geese, Rio? Dusty dogs. Bird crossing. <laughs> Lots of people come down here to fish, yet we have never seen anyone catch anything. Good girl, Ray.
Why are you sleeping under the blanket? Cutie pie. Hello. Are you so tired, Ray? Oh, she got tired, Jeppy is. Tired, Jeppy is. Poor Rio. Very tired, baby. Very tired, baby. Oh, poor Ray. <laughs> Pear is tired, too. Pear is up here on the couch. Hello, mister. Are you tired, too? Are you tired, too? Is it time to go to bed? You wanna go upstairs in your crate? <laughs>